bestie Stevie, you know I'm keeping it real, and I've got a confession. I think I'm straight, hear me out. So, like, I've spoken before on my channel about my ideas of gender, gender roles, um, gender, um, the expectations put on gender by society, um, which I think ties very closely to sexuality, but is something that is, again, its own thing and just so broad. And I think the, in society, we tend to need to put labels on things and box on things. And I don't think you can on these kinds of topics because it's so personal. Everyone's experience is different and everybody will have a different idea. So, but, you know, humans, we need to know, we need to understand, even though we're all stupid. Like, and so we try and put people into these categories of straight, gay, bisexual, pansexual, trisexual. Like, some people try anything once. But um, it's really unnecessary, but I feel like it's something that society is really looking at at the moment and it's something that we're having very real conversations about. And I just thought I'd let you know where I stand. Well, I guess that is kind of where I stand. Like, the fact that I think it's personal and we don't need a label. But I'm just going to chat. I'm going to chat sexuality. Let's talk about sexuality, baby. Let's talk about me and me. I'm, I'm probably that one. I'm that sex sexuality that's, like, attracted to themselves. Like, what's that called? A narcissist? No, there's a word for it. I know there is. I'm filming on my phone, which is going to be discussed as one of my sexuality stories as to why I'm filming on my phone again. Um, but let's just kind of get into it. Um, as always, welcome back. If you haven't seen me before, welcome. I'm Stevie, the bad gal, Stee Stee. Um, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, comment your thoughts in the comments below, and yeah, let's just do it. Let's talk sexuality. So, I'm in case you couldn't tell, my nipples are like really saying hello today. Look at my nipples. Look at them! I gotta poke someone's eyes out with these things. Yeah, that makes my nips so hard, dude. Like, I just feel like I should put band-aids on them. It's not a perky nipple. Um, sorry. I just caught a glimpse of my own nipple. Feed my nipples! Well, you can milk anything with nipples. Um, they've got piercings, which makes them even more. Stop talking about your nipples, Stevie. Like, this is weird. But normal people don't do that, do they? They don't. They're not all about the nip talk and the nip rub and the nip tweak. Oh my god, my nipples hurt. And I need to stop. But I guess that is kind of related to what I was saying. I'm a very open-minded person in terms of sexuality and sex and very sex positive. You do use this as long as you're not like hurting anybody. It's consensual. Well, hurting somebody if they want it, like, you know, like some people are into it. Like we've got a few freaks out there. Um, and as long as it's just no, no children, no animals, consensual. Then do you do you. If it's not for me, I won't do it. But like, I'm not going to judge you for, you know, living your best life, indulging in your little works so that is probably why i have such a liberal att liberal attitude towards sexuality and the constructs of it i think that um i would technically i guess say if i had to be one in one of the boxes and most people would be like see you're a raging fag but no i would say i'm pansexual like i'm someone who is i fall in love with a person i've had women in my life that i thought i was going to marry sorry i've got a bit of pink eye as well like not like pink eye pink eye but just like um a contact lens situation like you know what I'm like, I a mess. I left it in for too many days, went in a spa, like got like it all hella kind of fogged up underneath it and like and then this happened. So we're pink eyeing out, so please ignore that. Um where was I? Um yeah, like I have only ever been in a relationship, well a serious relationship, like I've had girlfriends back in like school and stuff, they don't count. No offense, Mel, love you babe. Um but I yeah, I've only been in a serious relationship with a man. Um and up until recently, had only had sex with men, but that's all changed. Stevie popped his cherry. <laughs> like, this is such a weird thing to be talking about, like, on YouTube, but, like, here we go. So, the other day, I was a little drunk, you know how it is, and decided, like, like I didn't decide, it's been in my head for a while, like, I've actually been, like, thinking about it a lot lately. And that's part of why I think it, this experience attracted itself to me. But um, anyway, I was on Grindr. Grindr is a lovely, lovely app. If you don't know, I'm sure everybody knows what Grindr is. But it's um, it's basically a gay hookup app. Like it says dating, but we ain't dating. You know, we're we're all sluts. Like, <laughs> and so I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do a video one day of just reading like Grindr messages and Grindr interactions I've had. Like because there are some freaking freaks. You know, like I'm compiling the list because some people are just out of this world on there. But I was scrolling, feeling some type of way, you know what, what type of way that was. And then I got a message from someone who didn't have a picture, like I can't remember what their name was. Um, and then they were like, hey, you into MF threesomes? That's male, female. So you've got your threesomes, you've got your MMF, male, male, female, MFM, male, female, male. Like, like it's just, you know, it's just so that you know, like sometimes I'm into threesomes, it's like, yeah, I think I'm gonna get two dicks. And then like, 
a girl arrives and it's awkward and it's awkward for her. And anyway, yeah, so they were like, hey, like, do you do like, um, they originally, they, what they wanted, they, he is obviously someone who is a lover of the cock. <laughs> and he, they go to people's houses and he hooks up with a guy, just a bit of oral, you know, nothing too, like, freaky. And she plays with him while he's doing it. And she doesn't get touched by the guys they hook up with and the just works like he gets what he wants without having to go and cheat on her. She knows what her man's up to and she's co like she I don't know. I think she's younger than him and she gets kind of talked into it. But like I'm not saying like she's forced and she loved it. Like let's not get ahead of ourselves. Anyway, so I was like, oh like I'd actually be keen to hook up with her, like and they're like, oh that's not really what we do, but like, you know, we'll come over, see what happens, like and I'm like, yeah, okay, cool, come over. Like, so here I am, like being like, what the fuck am I about to do? Like, oh my shit, God, like, what if I can't do it? Like, what if I don't get, what if I don't get hard? What if I'm just not into women? What if I don't know how to have sex with a girl? Like, this is embarrassing. Like, I, like it was literally like losing my virginity. Like, you know, like the first time when you're nervous and you're like, oh my God, am I going to be able to do it? Like, how do I, like, I've had my fair share of sex in my day. Like, Stevie's been around the block a couple of times, you know? So then I'm like sitting here nervous. They're taking ages to get here. They're at a friend's house, like not far from here, but like, they were just, like, taking forever, and I was like, oh, they're not coming, I can tell, like, they've let me down, like, I've got my hopes all up, I've, like, got my fluffer in, fluffed up, like, and no, I haven't, I didn't have a fluffer coming, like, but, you know, like, I got myself all psyched up for this, and then, like, I'm like, they're not coming, and then, like, I get a message, and like, we're coming, okay, like, and I'm like, cool, yeah, like, awesome, and so they come around, and we're just, like, you know, chatting, having a drink, and then, um, you know, drinking leads to forking, <laughs> well, no, like, drinking was not meant to lead to forking, apparently, but, like, so we're all, he just starts, like, doing his thing on my thing, and then, She's doing her thing on his thing, and like I dressed her up. I gave her some thigh high boots, and like she was really hot. Like she was so, like I still look, like think back to it, like even after everything that's happened, and I'm like, damn, you know, like it can. I don't want to. I'll, I'll keep going. So we all were like hooking up, doing our thing, and then he invited me to get on in there, and then I did it, and it was fun. It was great. It was flirty. It was fresh. Like and that's what you wanted. <laughs> Sexual experience, really. Like fresh is the main thing. I think that anyone can hope for and ask for so that all happened and, and then I was you know like I you know how after all that raging sex you get you like a bit tuck it out like I pass out Stevie is a dumbass so you do not invite strangers into your house and then pass out ever because some strangers will be opportunists they I had my rent money in my wallet gone I had my I um it was a computer. I was actually I was going to sell it like but it was because it was a windows com like surface pro 2 thing um, I was going to sell that, so I never used it, but yeah, like, I had that stolen, I had my webcam, like, camera stolen, um, because I suggested that they should do cam shows, and I guess they took me up on my suggestion, um, just, yeah, like, a bunch of my shit stolen, which sucked balls, like, absolute balls, but to make matters worse, I woke up in the morning, like, in the morning, I woke up, like, whatever time I woke up, and then was, like, remembered what happened, smile on my face, sent them a message being, like, hey, I'm so sorry, I wasn't, like, I fell asleep, and, like, you know, like, couldn't say goodbye, like, let you guys out, like, um, had a really good time, whatever, like, let's do it again, like, no, that wasn't like that, I think I told the girl I loved her as well, like, I think, like, during the sex, like, it wasn't, like, while I was inside her, and, like, while I was climaxing, like, that'd be weird, but, like, it was, like, I was, like, just looking at her, I'm, like, fuck your beautiful, Stevie, like, no wonder they stole your shit, like, I would have too, you suck, like, and then, yeah, like, so, I sent him a message being, like, so sorry, and then, like, I went to my wallet, um, I think I was gonna go to the ATM, put my rent money in, pay that, and then, go to my wallet, and and my rent money is missing. It's gone. Like, and I'm like, straight away, I knew. I knew. I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. What else is gone? Doing a stock take of the place, like, having a look around, trying to work out what they've taken, what, like... So, I don't actually even know the extent of what they took, but it was a lot. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry. Um, so, I sent them a message just being like, Hey, did you guys happen to see where I put my wallet? Like, um, I just... And then, like, nothing back. They didn't even have the audacity to block me on Grinder. Like, they're still on there. Like, and I've, like, messaged them a bunch of times trying to, like, you know, like, I don't know. Like, I'm not threatening because, like, look at me. They're obviously not threatened. So, like, I don't know how to approach it. So, I've just left it. Like, they've just gone away with what they've gone away with. And it's a valuable lesson to me. You don't pass out with strangers in your house. But now I can say things like, women, huh? They'll bleed you dry. Like, like just, like, things that, like, straight men say. Like, that women are always just taking their money. Like, so I feel like that's part of the experience. Like, is that, like, I'm really, like, really feeling my straight fantasy right now. So that's fun. That's really fun. Um, but yeah, like, and it's not just, like, a one-off thing. It's not just something I just decided one day I wanted to. I always wanted to be straight. Like, that sounds so bad. No, like, 
I love being gay. I love it. Like, I say this is me putting my labels on it. Um, I, when I was like 18, hitting the clubs, I would go to Dakota out in Ringwood, whoop, whoop, dirty duck, every week. And then I would always try and hit on bitches, like go up, get my flirt on. And they'd be like, oh my God, I've always wanted a gay best friend. So it was kind of like, like, because I was a lot, I say this was like this all happening, but like, I was a lot gay when I was younger. Like, I, um, now I'm like still, a, I'm like a good mix of femme and masculine. Like, it's not like too much. Like, and, you know, like, back then, I didn't hit puberty until I was, like, 20, I swear to God. So, like, I was, like, a short, little, hairless, like, fat. Like, I wasn't fat. I was never fat. I just think I was fat in my head. But, like, you know, short, like, little, hairless boy. So, of course, girls aren't going to want to, like, hit that. So, like, then, yeah, like, it was just kind of decided for me. Even, like, my whole life. Like, that's the thing. I think maybe I was did, was straight, but, like, I was conditioned my whole life. Like, from when I was in, like, prep, like, kinder, everything. Like, everyone always just called me bae. So, like... You know, I just assumed that they were they were right. Like I never I never experimented. Now I'm experimenting and I'm finding that I'm not so gay. Hey baby. Hey baby. Should I hop up? Should I hop up? Hop up from here? Say happy biggie small, say hello. Say hello. Hello. She just woke up from a nap. She's still a bit tired. Um yeah, like so I was just always told I was gay, like because I was a family. <sighs> Like, all my friends were girls, and I just wasn't one of the boys, and I had two brothers that were definitely the boys, so, like, I just, yeah, like, I was a different one. And that's cool, but, like, what what if, like, growing up, I hadn't been told I was gay constantly, like, would I have not immediately been attracted? No, I would have, I, like, I love, I love dick, like, but, yeah, like, it's an interesting thought. Nature versus nurture, huh? The age-old question. Um, even, like, when I caught up with my dad most recently, like, we went for lunch, and... Shout out Petey, if you're watching. And then he said, like, we were just talking about me being gay. Or something came up. And he was like, yeah, we, we always knew, like, from when you were born. Like, how do you know that a baby is gay? Like, they've put this on me. Mum, Dad, I might not be gay. Like, and, uh, yeah, like, maybe they've tried to pray the gay way. That, uh, maybe that would have shocked me into being. No, I'm not, like, condoning or endorsing conversion therapy in any way. I think that's sick. Like, just accept yourself for who you are. Love who you want to love. And be who you want to be. Um, but... <sighs> Even, like, coming out to my mum, like, it was my 19th birthday, let's set the stage, I'm coming home from Dakota again, like, whoop whoop, dirty dak, like, love that place. Hey, hey. And then, oh, you're yawny, bubba, you're yawny, bubba. Kiss, 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 good girl, good kiss. Yeah, you're so good, you're so good, biggie. And then, um, so I'm, like, super drunk, I'm in the, my birthday's Christmas day, I'm in the fridge, stealing the Christmas ham, we had, like, three of them, like, my family's huge, so, like, we had a lot of food for Christmas. So, like, um, it was at our house that year, I think, no, it wasn't. It was at my auntie and uncle's, um, and we had to, because I I was at the fridge stealing the ham, and then mum came down, and I'm like, mum, just so we're all on the same page, like, you know I'm gay, right? And she's like, yeah, I know, it's just good to hear you say it, bitch, I wanted to shock you, I wanted tears, I wanted to be kicked out of home, I wanted, like, the full, you didn't let me, you didn't let me feel my fantasy, like, you didn't let me have that, like, you ruined that moment, like, that's going to be a big moment in every gay's life, and you took it from me by saying, being so understanding, like, who the fuck do you think you are? Like, fuck, Michelle, Shell Bell, you ruined it for me, like, so maybe now that I'm going back into the closet, you could, like, have a bit of, like, that reaction for me. Like, let me live the dream, you know? Like, keep me out of home. Like, I've been out of home for so long. Like, it wouldn't matter. But, like, you know, tell me I'm not welcome back. Tell me I have no family. No, I'm so sorry. Like, this is not something I should be making fun of. Like, it's literally, like, so horrible when that happens to people. And I don't understand how any parent could ever turn away their child just because of, like, their sexuality. But, you know, sadly, it does happen. And to anybody who that has happened to, I'm so sorry, like, that you've been through that. And you know that I'm always here for you if you want to talk, like, send me a DM, like, slide in, we can chat, let you know that you're not alone, and that people do love you, and you're special no matter what, like, I was very lucky and blessed to have that always taught to me from my family, like, when I was younger, like, I was, like, it was after I'd come out, because I was with my first boyfriend, we went out in the Arab Valley of Hillsville, and we got gay bashed, and it was huge, like, it was this big, like, bar brawl, like, like, bottles being thrown across the room by my friend, like, like me running at the her, like, the owner of the bar, like, having her choke slammed against the wall, like, like, literally, like, whole, the whole venue, like, it was Melbourne Cup night, so it was after Melbourne Cup, so everyone's been drinking all day, everyone in Hillsville's at this place, like, it's the one place in Hillsville, like, so we're, like, all there, and, like, it's just, like, brawl, 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 and then I'm, like, then we got kicked out, and, like, I kept going outside, and, like, I've got, like, 15 guys around me, and I'm, like, standing up, like, I managed to get up, I'm, like, a Rambo when I'm angry, I'm, like, go on, come at me, come at me, like, just schizophrenic, like, and then, like, it was like crazy, and then, you know, I hadn't actually said to my dad that I was gay yet. Like, my brothers went and told him as soon as I told my mum. Like, and I'm getting all ahead of myself. So yeah, like that Christmas was at my auntie and uncle's. Mum told my gay uncles on my way, on their way there. They shared a car right there. I wasn't in that car. And then mum told them, and then so they got there and they're like, oh, like, 
happy birthday, Merry Christmas, and congratulations. And, like, I was so drunk that year. I, like, was so, so drunk. Like, you have no idea. I was drunk enough to come out to my mum over while I was stealing a Christmas ham. Like, I was drunk. And so, like, I had no voice. I had no voice for the whole family Christmas. And I was just, like, making these raspy noises and, like, drinking more and, like, just getting more and more disgusting as the day went on. Like, you gotta love Christmas. I think that's one of my, like, last family Christmases I went to. Like, after that, like, I just wasn't invited. Um, and then, yeah, like... I never told dad, like, my brothers went and told him, so I was just like, okay, well, I guess I don't have to, like, they've taken the job away from me, and, like, just kind of, like, I knew he knew, so, like, why do I need to think, did they, my brothers have to go to him and say, hey, dad, just so you know, we're straight? No, so why do I have to tell him, like, you know, like, me and my dad weren't as close back then, like, we weren't not close, but we just weren't close, like, we just didn't see each other, like, we didn't talk. Now we're a lot closer, like, we've really, like, got a really good respect for each other, I think, I think he respects me, like, I hope so, um, and then, um, yeah, so, like, then after that happened, I was in hospital, and then my dad called and I had to tell him like I was in hospital and he's like why'd they do it and I was like oh like you know um I guess because I'm gay and he was like like oh my god I don't like getting I don't like talking about things like this he was just like you know just we don't want you to change this the person you are you're he's like you're the most amazing person like we don't want this to change who you are we don't want you to feel any in any way that there's something wrong with you like it's just dumb answers out in that area like that are so backwards that and like you know starts going on that speech and I hung up like <laughs> I was like, boop, could not deal with this. The painkillers were not strong enough. Like, you know, I was like, nah. So I called him back like a couple of, a day or two later when I got out of the hospital and like had that chat and it was really good. He was just like, we've always known, but like, you know, you know, we love you. That's not like, it doesn't matter who you love. Like what's important is who you are and you're a good person. I might have been, I, he, I probably didn't go that far. I'm probably just making that part up just to like, like, I'm a good person. But like, you know, like it was like along those lines. It was really nice. Um, So it's something that like being gay is just, always been me and it's okay to be gay but maybe now I'm entering this new phase of my life where I'm a little less gay a little more pan if you will I'm into pots and pans uh, who what what did what does pan mean like like it, what what is like I, I know what it is it's when you're in love with a person and not based on them not their gender cool but what is pansexual like why is it called pansexual I don't know let me know if you know what other the bisexual asexual There's so many now, like, like there's just so many acronyms I've got to learn, and I'm, like, really confused by them all, like, and then there's the ones that are relating to gender, ones that are relating to sexuality. So, like, um, is demisexual a thing? Like, you're half-sexual? Like, I don't know, I can't remember. LGBTQI allies are in there as well, like, that's people who don't identify as gay, but, like, aren't against them. Like, you don't need, you don't, like, I'm, thank you, like, your support is lovely, like, you voted yes, good on you. We, you don't need a letter in our acronym, okay? Like, it's getting too long, it's like, some of the letters are being used twice, and it's just, like, weird, like, we need to, like, Cut that back down, LGBTQ+. Plus. Even, like, Q, I don't get what's queer. Like, what is, how is queer different to, like, I just don't get it. Like, somebody educate me, please. Or I could just Google and educate myself, but I'm not going to. So, if you want to, like, let me know why we have so many letters in our acronym, please do, because I'm very confused. Um, yeah, like, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I feel different after being with a woman. Like, I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was great. Got my shit stolen. That sucked. And that's pretty much it. Like, that's, you know, it wasn't a big, like, I'm saw a light and realized I'm straight and prayed gay away and like it was just like it happened might happen again who knows we'll see let's not put a label on what I am you know that's the moral of the story don't pass out with strangers in your house and don't put a label on your sexuality because you can be anything you want to be you don't need to define yourself and you don't need to put yourself in boxes unless you want to be inside someone else's box and then that's fine too because as we just found out it's not that bad anyway I'm gonna go you can bounce 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 see shut up you're not gonna bounce you're gonna just like probably take the dog out like you know the usual like but i love each and every one of you no matter what your sexual orientation and i would love it if you could like this video you could turn on your post notifications subscribe to my channel and help me earn some money to freaking replace my camera you know <laughs> like it's uh, it's not cheap and it's not the first camera i've had stolen so like maybe i've got to look at who i'm letting into my house <laughs> Just saying. Anyway, I'm gonna go. You guys stay beautiful, and I will see you next time. Hey there, bitches. I have a great idea. You should go subscribe to my channel. And binge watch my videos. Go on. Treat yourself. Please, please, please. No pressure, though. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Trust me. I'm worth it. Makes sense. Great idea. YOLO. I'm down. Sounds like a plan. See you soon. Bye.